Well, g'day Fishos, Brent from Tackle World, Port Stephens. Apologies for the late report, it has been busy and the fishing is just getting better and better in Port Stephens. As we always do, let's begin with the estuary. Now this week, plenty of whiting are biting inside the bay. That rhyme, there you go, I did go to school once upon a time. So plenty of whiting in the bay. Shoal Bay Beach has been a favourite this week, so too Corlett. Um, and then further up the bay on the flats around Taylor's Beach, then up towards Tarly, if you're gonna go and throw some surface lures around. My suggestion with uh, with Shoal Bay are some worms or live nippers, fish really, really light, fish early or fish late. Uh, four pound leader seems to be doing the trick there in a really, really light sinker. So plenty of whiting around. Uh, on the Nelson Bay break wall, some good fish around the break wall at the moment. Uh, a few brim down there, a few bonito as well, and the odd kingy. So if you're keen on fishing the break wall, though the big tides, you're gonna have to fish those last two hours, I think, of the either the falling or the high tide, that's for sure, for the break wall at the moment. So on the new moon and those bigger tides. A few squid around Shoal Bay as well, so if you can get up early, get a few squid around the moorings. A few flatties still about. Uh, they've been a little bit slower, only because of the boat traffic, but get up early. I think next week's gonna be better for the flatties with the tides getting a little bit smaller, that's for sure. A few brim on the surface lures as well, so if you're keen on that. Like I said before, there's a few bonito off the break wall. They're starting to move throughout the bay. So if you wanna go and chase the bonito, just look for the birds early in the morning and that'll be the go for sure. So bay fishing well. Uh, so out on the beaches. So on the beaches at the moment, Bit of red weed on Fingal still, but get up towards the spit, you should do pretty well on the whiting up there. Uh, the odd tailor up there just on sunrise as well. Same with Boxy, some good whiting on Boxy, especially the southern corner. Uh, worth a uh, fish off the rocks there too for a few tailor. Uh, down Baruby, some really, really nice gutters uh, with the North Easters uh, being Saturday. We've got a Sudley on Sunday. Be worth fishing the gutters down off Baruby at the moment. Samurai, the southern end of summer, Samurai is fishing pretty well too. So definitely worth a shot on the whiting on the beaches. Now on the rocks, haven't heard too much this week. Uh, there hasn't been many reports off the rocks, a few tailor kicking about the points, a few bonito starting to turn up, a couple of kings around Boulder Bay, so definitely worth a shot on the kings, throwing stick baits and throwing a few live baits in. Now on the offshore scene, some good snapper about at the moment, some absolute crack as we wait another one this week for young William, went 8.6 kilos on one of our fresh squid, so an absolute cracking snapper. So even though the water's warming up, there are still some really good snapper about. Heaps of trag around, so the big gibbers fishing really well for trag. Down off the 21, the V Reef uh, at Boulder Bay Wide and even down Urella. Plenty of trag, you'll catch your bag full of trag pretty easily at the moment. Speaking of the boys off, Nelson Bay Charters and also Pacific Blue Charters getting some really nice dewies out in that deeper water too. So as that water warms up, there's a few dew around as well. A few dolphin fish on the fad, but get there early with some live baits before the crowds get there, that's for sure. Now the big news is, Port Stephens, Port of Gold. The striped male and black male and bite on the shelf this week has been exceptional. Uh, speaking to the crews on the Calypso, doing really well, five, six fish a day. Spoke to Lumpy, they went eight from 10 the other day. Spoke to Dean, he went nine from 12. So there's the numbers right there. Port of Gold on the stripes and the blacks out over the edge there. So fishing pretty well, lots of bait out there. Best way to fish, I think, at the moment, either skip baiting, teaser fishing. Uh, it's doing really well. Most of the guys that are skip baiting are getting most of the bites there. So that reaction bite on the skip baits, uh, get a teaser in the water, and away you go. So good news at the moment. Anyway, quick report this week. That's it. My daughter's trying to hold the phone up for me, and she's getting slack arms. So anyway, enjoy the weekend. We'll talk next week.